If you would like to see how I got this look using the Makeup Revolution Emily Edit the Wants palette, be sure to stay tuned. You're in the right place. Welcome back. Today we are going to be playing with this palette right here. I went to my Ulta and I picked it up and I cannot wait to start playing with it. So let's begin. I'm going to go into this shade right here called Hobby and we are going to start with that brown in my crease. Let me grab a big fluffy brush, pick up some of that color and start working it into the crease. I'm sorry if you hear my dogs whining. I have them upstairs in my room with me. They were naughty, so they're in timeout, so they get to spend time with me, but they don't want to. They want to go back downstairs, and I'm not letting them. So you'll kind of hear them whine. And I do apologize for that. I'm just going to try to build this color up just a little bit. Working it up towards my brow bone. Kind of into my brow bone. And then I'm going to clean off my brush. I'm going to pick up this shade right here. It is called Love Tons. Using the same brush. And I'm going to place that a little bit lower than the shade Hobby. More in my actual crease. And I will come in closer. And I'm just going to blend that in there. Same with the other side. I love that these shades are buildable. I love that you don't pit, put a little bit on the brush and that it's too much pigment that you have to blend way out. These are very easy to work with. You get to decide the intensity that you want. Need a little bit more of this on this side. I was so excited when I saw that Emily collaborated with Makeup Revolution. I've been watching her for a while now. She's an amazing YouTuber. She's an amazing influencer. I love watching her videos. Now that I have that work kind of how I want it, I'm going to take a more defined brush and I'm going to pick up this shade right here called Cheers. No, just Cheer. And I am going to pack that on just a little bit. And I'm going to deepen up just at the very bottom of Love Tons. I had to check and see what color that was. So I'm just placing that at the very bottom of that. Cheer is more burgundy than Love Tons. Love Tons is, has more of a pink tone to it. I'm going to get this color on there. And then I'm going to clean off my blending brush. And I am going to blend. I 
As always, I want everything to run seamlessly together. Kind of leaving my lid open for another color. But before I get to that color, I'm gonna go ahead and go back into the first shade Hobby. That's the brown. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm going to go back into this upper area, into the brow bone area and blend that in there. I wanna make sure that that brown is still going to peek out just a little bit. Same with the other side. And now my dogs are gonna make a whole bunch of noise. So I am going to continue what I'm doing right now, but I will have to edit out from this spot forward. So I will be back. Okay, so I just kind of blended that hobby color back up in to the brow bone. Now I'm gonna go in with the lid shade. For the lid, I would like to use this shade Cupcake right here. I'm gonna dig in there, pick some up. So far the colors haven't had any kick up except for this one. This is the only one that has had any kick up. I coated both sides of that brush. I really like that color. It's very pretty. Go ahead and put that on the other side as well. And I'm using this color dry. I did not wet my brush at all. And it just glides on with ease. For the brow bone highlight, I'm going in with this shade right here, Oh Heavens. So we're gonna put that up on the brow bone. Just give it a little something something. Same with the other side. and for the inner corner. Just gonna kind of pack that on and then drag it into the lower lash line. So pack that on and drag it down just a little bit to the lower lash line. So you can kind of see it. It's not a big bam in your face, but it is there. The lower lash line, I'm gonna go in with Love Tons to start. And I'm gonna work that really close to my waterline. And I know I've got the makeup face going on, don't judge. A little bit more. Get that ran in there. Then I'm going to take the shade Hobby and I'm kind of I'm gonna blend that in with it. And I'm only going about halfway. I'm 
Now for liner, I'm going to use Unique Dip and Draw Liquid Eyeliner. Of course, I'm going to use the shade black. Unique calls this perfect, but it is a black. I am so excited about this palette. There are so many looks that can be done using it. There's so many colors and so many combinations. Definitely going to keep playing with it. And for it being only 20 bucks for that palette, I'm, I'm just amazed. I'm very happy with my look today. It turned out just how I wanted it to. For the lower lash line, I'm going in with Avon the Super Shock Gel Liner. And I am pulling just a little bit. I know you're not supposed to. But my contacts like to fall out if I don't. I have to bring it away from my eye. So I got that on. For mascara, I'm going to use Epic Mascara. I'm digging it. I love this look. Okay, so for lips, let's go ahead and use Pink Chocolate by Ulta. Get that color on there. And that's it. That's the final look. We're all done. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Be sure to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. We'll see you next time.